brought to you by Allstate, whose policies now include protection for your home, your family, as well as your car. You're in good hands with Allstate. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now the gentleman that brought to life Guys and Dolls is about to bring with the talented Frank Lester a new musical to Broadway called How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, which is a lazy person's dream as Mr. Abe Burroughs is ours. A lady who is doing a new book Call how to write a column without really trying, Miss Dorothy <laughs> Gilgallon. So true. And I'm borrowing all my words from the man who publishes the American College Dictionary, Mr. Bennett Cerf. I hope you've noticed the artichoke hairdo is of our two beautiful panelists tonight, <laughs> not Mr. Burroughs. And that reminds me of what some people, some of the jealous rivals of our panel moderators say, he ought to choke. And here he is in person, John Charles Daly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to What's My Line. It's nice to have a Burroughs with us. Memory serves me right. Some 10 or 11 years ago, Mr. Burroughs and I were in this same theater together doing a program about the etymology of words. That's right. If I remember correctly, or about etymology, rather. But never mind this long association with Mr. Burroughs. He's just another member of the panel tonight and is going to get his head caved in if it's possible to cave it in. With artichokes. Yes. With artichokes, the artichokes. Well, we'll also have a famous <coughs> mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the program. And we'll meet our first challenger after the... And now let's meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Right there. Joan O'Dell. Is that right? Is it Miss or Mrs. Odell? Miss. Miss Odell, and where are you from, Miss Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. Well, it's nice to have you come up and visit New York, I must say. May I present our panel? Thank you. Now, would you join me over here? Yes. Tell me, Miss Odell, do you know how we keep score? Yes. yes. All right, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the folks at home know exactly what your line is. panel, we can tell you that Miss Odell is salaried and deals in a service. And we'll begin the general questioning with artichoke surf. <laughs> Miss Odell, you're even prettier than the usual run of girls around the Fontainebleau lobby down in Miami. <laughs> do you have anything whatever to do with the <clears throat> entertainment business? No. That's one down and nine to go. <laughs> and Miss Francis? Could anyone on this panel use your services, Miss Odell? No. We have to give you a no answer, but at the same time, with Miss Odell's permission, I would explain it's because of the specific nature of the question that we had to say no. This does not rule out the possibility that under differing <coughs> circumstances, you might be considered the recipients of the service. <laughs> Mr. Burr. Uh, to, to, to follow up uh, what Arlene said, Miss Odell, uh, is your, uh, are your services limited to a member of one sex only? No. That's three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you perform your services in Miami or the neighborhood of Miami? Yes. And is that why we would not be likely to avail ourselves of your services? No. no? Well, uh, let me say this. Um, I think I must have another conference. I'm terribly <laughs> sorry. You want us to go away? <laughs> Hmm. 
A Half hours is not a time. romance. <laughs> well, <laughs> you forgot the question. Of it. <laughs> hey, you put your finger on it. I'm trying to figure what was it all about. <laughs> Actually, Dorothy, let me say this. We would like to give you a yes answer. It's qualified to this extent. You have proposed that if you were resident in the area in question, would you then be uh, in a position to utilize the services of our contestant? We would have to agree that if you were resident there, in a, certainly in a substantial sense, you would be making use of her services. Well, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Miss O'Dell, do you work for a profit-making organization? No. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss O'Dell, do you work for something to do with the state of Florida rather than national? Yes. Do you work for Florida? Yes. Uh, is it work that involves any kind of animals, fish, or birds? No. no. That's five down and five to go, Miss French. Well, if we wouldn't be liable to use your services, Miss O'Dell, does your service have anything restrictive about it? In By what the, sense? Well, uh, lawfully restrictive. Is there anything... Uh, does Miss O'Dell have something to do with the law? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, would Miss O'Dell in any way belong to any kind of a policing organization? No, I don't think so. No. no. Six down and four to go, Mr. Burrow. Florida, no police. You're obviously not an orange. Now, <laughs> is what you, does what you do have anything to do with promoting the welfare of Florida? Yeah. I would think we would have to agree that what she does very substantially could contribute to the welfare of Florida. Does it contribute to the welfare of Florida in terms of uh, places outside of Florida knowing about it? Well, I would say here, and I think honestly, that uh, if you do your work well, as we know you do, and this fact were current and generally known, it would tend to enhance Florida oh, in the uh, eyes of those. <laughs> I don't believe what you're saying. <laughs> It, I, what I meant, it, it has, does have anything to do with... Well, I, I couldn't get what you answered, really. I, I'm puzzled. I, uh, does it have anything to do with, with making people want to come to Florida? I, I wouldn't say that, no. Seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Miss O'Dell, do people come to you in your work? I think we could say they come to you in some instances. In other instances, it's possible you might find it necessary to go to them at one point or another. Do you ever deal with them in pairs? Yes. Do you have anything to do with matrimony? No. No. That's eight down and two to go, Mr. Surf. Miss O'Dell, do you have anything whatever to do with the school system of Florida? No. Nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. Do children have any... Th would children need your services in any way, Miss O'Dell? Yes. They might. Mm -hmm. uh, there is nothing entertaining about it about what you do, and there is nothing jurisdictional about what you do. Now, is the issue correct? was asked specifically as to whether she exercised any uh, responsibility or was active in policing work. Beyond oh, that see. point, we have not gone. Well, but is there anything jurisdictional about what you do, Miss O'Dell? Yes. I would say so. What does it mean, what I just asked you? <laughs> <laughs> It was nothing. Well, you want me to answer your question or just leave it live? You mean about what did I just <laughs> ask you? Uh, is the governor interested in what you do? He'd be a fool if he wasn't, oh. is all I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Are you answerable to him in any way? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you deal primarily with the young in Florida? No. No. That's ten down and no more to go. Lawyer, but I... Is she a lawyer? What is it? Yes. Bennett got it. What she... is it? Prosecuting Hello? attorney for the state of Florida. A lawyer. Oh, no. The simplest no, like... one of all. Oh, like... <laughs> oh. But How'd she's you like... so young and beautiful. But I know. But that's when it's fun to be prosecuted, you see. <laughs> <laughs> that's the full fruit of democracy in full bloom. Oh, if you have to be prosecuted, you should be prosecuted by Miss O'Dell. Then you don't mind it at all. Uh, don't mind at all. State capital, Miss O'Dell? No, in Miami. The 11th Judicial District of Florida, in Dade County. 
appointed by the governor, are you not? Yes. Appointed by the governor and the prosecuting attorney. What a wonderful thought. Well, if I ever have to become a criminal, it will be down in your area, I promise you. <laughs> and thank you very much, ma'am. It's been thank nice to have you with us. And that's Let's meet our second challenger. Would you enter and sign in, please? D. E. Shunk. Is that right, sir? <laughs> what does that D stand for? Dell. Dell? Yes, sir. And what does the E stand for? Eugene. Eugene. Dell Eugene. Fine. Where are you from, sir? Chapel, Nebraska. Chapel, Nebraska? Yes, sir. Nice to have you with us. May I present the panel, Mr. Shunk? Mm -hmm. Will you join me over here? Do you know how we keep score? All right, then we'll let the folks know at home and here in the theater exactly what your line is. <laughs> We'll tell you that Mr. Shunk is self-employed and deals in a product. And we'll begin the general questioning with Ms. Francis. Well, Mr. Shunk, is this a product that I might use? I, I must say that there are circumstances under which we would agree that you might wish to awa avail yourself of the benefits of the use of this product. Well, is it a product that one would find in the home? No. No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Burrow. Is it a manufactured product? Yes, sir. Is it something you make? Yes. You're engaged in the manufacture of it? Yes. Uh, is it made in a, in a factory or in, in a large factory? No. You have other employees? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. One minute. Actually, here, though, I don't think this is quite fair to you, Abe. Uh, we must agree if it's manufactured, it is made in a factory. Now, the, you use the term large. If you want to define the term large, we will then reconsider the I'd answer. like to withdraw the whole question. You've got it withdrawn. Go on. <laughs> uh, is it fabricated? I use the word manufactured again. Is it manufactured? Well, I say, uh, I don't know how to describe a large factory from a small, to separate a large factory from a small factory. You want what do you define as a small factory? Well, I think one way you can approach the question is in terms of numbers of employees or cubic space of, of uh, work area or that sort of thing. You can take any yardstick you want to. I'm watching him to see if he nods or anything when you say that. <laughs> I'm trying to get a free one here. All right. Do you have less than 50 employees? Yes, sir. Uh, the product you make does not have a, does it can't, can't rhyme at all with your second name. I mean, this got such a big laugh. No. I was wondering. No. Is it a, is it a product that's made of, 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 has it any metallic components? Yes. Does it work? <laughs> There's a sneaky laugh here. Uh, metallic components. Uh, is it, uh, does it have any electrical c connections? No, no. Two down and eight to go, Ms. Kilgallen. Uh, when it is in use, Mr. Shunk, uh, is this product in motion ever? Yes. <laughs> is it in motion on the ground? No. When you speak on the ground, you mean actually moving across the surface. Rather I, than we have to give under you a sea no. or in the air. No. We have to give you a no. That's three down. <laughs> Seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Shunt, might this product be used in connection with some animal? Yes. Uh, would it be used in connection with a horse? No, sir. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Well, is the animal four-legged? Yes, ma'am. Does it have furry pelt? No. A smooth animal. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. Let's, let me have a small cunt. <laughs> I can't think of an animal without a furry pelt outside of a rhinoceros. I can't think of an animal that isn't four-legged. What? <laughs> what kind of two-legged animal do you know? Well, in your reference to the... I don't want to mislead you here. Yes, you do, John. Come on now. <laughs> when you say furry, you have... I just mean hairy. Well... <laughs> 
quite joking. <laughs> well, then you may continue, Miss. I may continue? Yes. Yeah. All right. Is it an animal that one would find around the farm? Yes. Is it an animal that uh, has a curly tail? No. No, that would be quite a sight if it did. Uh, well, five down and five to go, Mr. Burns. Does it have anything to do with a, a food product? As, uh, when this product is used in connection with the animal, does something happen which results in a food product? No. Doesn't result in a food product. Well, I mean, when I said, does, is, I'd like, I think my first question should have been a lot, I repeated it, as any connection with a food product, I said. No. That's sneaky, but I got by there. <laughs> See. Is your question is when this product is used, is there any connection with a food product? Yeah, in other words, there's a, there's a whole syndrome of using this machine or whatever it is in connection with an animal have anything to do with uh, a food product in any way? No. You sorry you made that effort? <laughs> See, great. you got to talk. Go ahead. Let's have Small honesty. Country. Let's have honesty now. Would he be referring to the... No pigs, no horses, no little cattle. <laughs> Mr. Burroughs, would you define the terms a little more clearly? <laughs> now, oh. you suggest... Let me try it in. Are you suggesting that what you want to know is, does the use of this product have any connection with food of any kind under any circumstance? Is that your question? Yeah. So you get a yes answer. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Is the animal that it works on a f animal? I say it works on. Everybody's dying. <laughs> Is the animal that it that it does something with or to or around? Is that animal an animal that is considered edible? Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> is it a member of the cattle family? Yes. Uh, is it a cow? Mm -hmm. Could be. Well, you've got to know what a cow is. <laughs> you get a yes, Mr. Burroughs. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm unnerved now. You had, <laughs> You're you unnerved. A cow and you had to have a conference now. You I have used the word seconds. cow about a lot of creatures. <laughs> so Don't a, cow me, I mean a please. real cow with horns. A real cow with cow. horns? Without horns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a cow. Now, and do they blow them on festive days? Yeah, well, is, mm. this, is, is, this, a, is this a milking machine? No. no. Six down and four to go, Miss Gilgallon. Oh, what can it do? I'm going to give you one minute is, more. Is this anything that imparts food to the cow? Imparts food to the cow? No. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. Does this do anything, Mr. Shunk, to improve the health of the cow? Yes. Uh, would it be something that would be put on the cow, uh, above its neck? Yes. Uh, would it be somewhere around the cow's mouth? Yes. Do you, you one of those strange fellows who makes artificial teeth for cows? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Schutz and his dad own the uh, Chapel, Chapel Metal, Products. Me Metal Products Company, and what they do actually is make crowns, mo mostly it's crowns that fit over the teeth of cows when they have ground them down. And I believe, sir, that it's estimated by experts that this adds nearly another equal lifespan for the cow, does it not? I figure about eight to ten years of possible extra and life. Eight to ten years because they, they can masticate their food and, and uh, their milk cycle is longer. And I think it'd be good for us. <laughs> I can hear him saying to the cow, moo wider, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and wonderful. Uh, Abe, and what? this isn't going to hurt you. Yeah, no. it's <laughs> This isn't going to hurt you. Well, thank you very much, sir. We're going to flip all these over. We had a wonderful time and it's nice to have had you in Russia.
We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from us. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which, as you all know, the panel is always blindfolded. Are those blindfolds in place, panel? Yes. Yes, sir. Fine. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? our mystery challenger we go to a different form of questioning one question at a time in turn moving clockwise and we'll begin it with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen are you in the entertainment world yes Miss Francis I'm sorry mr. sir excuse me well he looks like Miss Francis. he looks like yeah. an artichoke and I nearly passed him over <laughs> uh, is your chief field of endeavor in the entertainment industry television Yes. Yes. Miss Francis? Are you a performer uh, on a regular television program? Nope. One down and nine to go, Mr. Burroughs. Uh, do you appear in the theater? Have you gone? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we were having a small conference. <laughs> Well, what's the answer? Sometimes, I think, would be the proper answer. How's that? All right, Abe, you get a sometimes. Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you married to someone who's in show business? No. Nope. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, when you're on television, do you ever sing and dance? Or sing or dance? Yes. Miss Francis? There are... There's a change in timbre. Is there more than one person present? Yep. Mr. Burrow? Are you both of one sex? <laughs> yep. Miss Gilgallan? In fact, are you... That? Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, are you three of one sex, like the McGuire sisters? Yes! <laughs> They had it all fixed up, you know, to sound just alike, and it lasted for a long, long time, too. I think. Well, she goofed just a little bit, but it was great fun to see how completely you had stymied the panel that you all felt. Yeah, it was remarkable. Just one person there. In fact, I thought it might be a man. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful McGuire sisters. I always sort of feel that. Uh, Part of just good, fine, robust singing entertainment is knowing the three of you. I've known them for a good many years, and I must say, always have enjoyed uh, what you've done. I know that you've been in show business for how long? Ten years this month. Ten years this yeah. month. You know, John would look great. well as part of a singing group, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a bass. <laughs> I think that's very nice. They said that I, they need a bass, and I'll You go say very well with them. It looks nice. <laughs> you ought to hear me down here. I can do that, too. <laughs> yes, Why Dorothy. Sisters and Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, girls, but we can't let him go on the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, thank all you, three of you, for being good enough to come and visit us. Lovely to see you again. Well, I must admit, you've done rather well tonight, panel. Congratulations, and we'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. We'll... It's been wonderful having you with us again, Abe, and good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Good night, and good night, dear Abe. Good night, dear Arlene, and good night, dear Dorothy. Good night, dear Abe, and please come again. Good night, Bennett. John, what do you say we go down to Miami and get ourselves arrested by Miss O'Donnell? <laughs> Good night. I think it's a great idea, and if I ever went to Miami with you, I'd probably get arrested, too. <laughs> and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Totman. The preceding program was pre-recorded. But Ann Vi, is it modest to tell people bringing up Buddy's a great show? Not really, love. 
And remember to say, tomorrow night on most of these stations.